all right what's up guys because always welcome back to a video from your truly the scarander now it's been yet again some type of controversy when it comes to yenning and it's always the same dialogue it's been the same since generation 5 really and um, the functions to yenning has been tougher and tougher yet um, the reason for yenning has always been I shouldn't say justified but there is a different type of um, ways of looking at it and while I can say that I think stay legit is something should, that should be honorable and push forward to it's always been the reason to gen a Pokemon and this generation generation 9 it's been for the worst reason because there are so many things right for it that reason for genning might be just because there are a few things here that just makes staying legit so time consuming because that is basically what it boils down to it takes a lot of time to make legit Pokemon in generation 5 there were actually an app <laughs> or poke edit where you can just go online and get your mon uh, it was the easiest thing ever it took you 10 minutes basically to get a team of six with the right moves only thing with it didn't necessarily work was um the legit checking on it you can have a lot of illegit pokemon it was really a strange place to say the least and generation six and seven we had a um, save dongle you could edit pokemon and stuff like that the save dongle and was probably one of the coolest thing ever basically it was game genie you can put in any item you wanted and you could use a lot of calciums and whatnot or vitamins to EVG, EV train your Pokemon it was a great time it cost you 100 or 15 dollars 150 crowns and yeah it was great but like I said I understand why people didn't like it it did force you to breed Pokemon though and uh, that's what I really want to enforce both generation 6 and 7 you had to breed them on um, I know Ballacast were to do Generation 7, and yeah, the dongle was used for that too. And also, you can transfer your save to Poke Edit and you know, edit your whole boxes on, um, <laughs> on your PC. Uh, moving on to Generation 8 and Sword and Shield, I want to say that I did a lot of things right here. Um, catching Dynamax Pokemon, which had perfect IVs, um, and you could even train your Pokemon thanks to, well, the daytime glitch, right? Anybody remember that? Still used. But thanks to daily jobs, you could EV train 30 Pokemon at the same time for 96 EVs for each day. You can skip skip days, basically made you uh, EV train with 5 of those missions, uh, a fully EV trained team of 30 Pokemon. Took you roughly 10 minutes at best. It was phenomenal, it was such a great time. And it made EV training great. Um, you didn't have to have any money, you didn't have to watch for certain Pokemon to battle. To use the bands and whatnot so generation 8 so far in my book is the best EV training methods introduced so far and moving into generation 9 there is a lot of things right here um first and foremost one of the best parts about generation 9 is when you catch pokemon uh, in a six star raid they are very 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 easy to utilize as they will be more close to perfect bonds in itself combined that with um a lot of items that, or I mean vitamins that can be used to um, able to change their their typing and or their ability no nature sorry and um, we had one of the perfect systems ever you had that in previous generation but this time is easily accessible together with um, the bands you can use for EV train there are now specific areas on the map that are definitely used to just EV train a certain um stat which means that it takes roughly 20 minutes to fully ev train a team of six that in itself considering it's glitchless is phenomenal it's never been that easy the the issue i would say comes to oh, well I, I forgot one thing mirror herb also you don't need to breed pokemon anymore because the mirror herb covers that the mirror herb is used to be able to learn egg moves from other pokemon you don't even need to be in the same egg group it's it's a tool of absolute awesomeness. Like I said, it's never been that good. The reason it sucks, <laughs> because it do, is that breeding is now out of question. Not because you don't want to breed, but rather your Terra type. Terra typing is something that is now largely locked into a um, grind wall, I would say. If you read your mind, you're going to get the same Terra type 
which makes it hard as some terra types are absolutely better than others. Hell, some terra types are usable in certain scenarios for certain matchup, and being forced to grind that or skipping that completely or looking for the right ones could be game decisive, and not having them would be just so. I would expect I had games settled by not having the right terra type, and if I had them the correct one or the, the singles defined one, I would have been just fine. Um, so that's a big issue. <laughs> and yes, you could grind for terra type, and uh, had a friend actually collect 50 um, flying terra type just to see how long it took with day or the day skip, of course, and also just trying to get the six and five star raids. It took him roughly one and a half hour to collect those shards, and I think that is to be expected. I mean, with six months, that is closely to nine hours. Granted, if you want anyone, every one of them to have a terror type, and um, so all of a sudden it becomes a grind of biblical proportions. <laughs> Another aspect that I think is something that I don't understand why they did is making TMs and TRs re or not reusable anymore. They are consumable. I believe team TRs was consumable in Generation 8, but you got them through Raiden, making them most of the time easily accessible. You don't get that in raids now. All of a sudden you need to collect certain items or kill certain Pokemon on field or in raids to get the material to make that very item or that TM and I think that's a very very big issue because all of a sudden there are certain Pokemon that are somewhat rare if you want to stock them in close combat you gotta find a Lucario or those Rallos and that that that's a grind that, that takes at least a, a few minutes or if you want Earthquake find those Barboats somehow Wishcats and Barboats are rare jeez why could that be a thing but <laughs> Yeah, of course that's bothering me, but that's a thing that actually from going from a system that was always available for Generation 5, you could always use the TMs to having those broader with technical records that was easily accessible through harder raids to completely neglect them completely and say they are now consumables. It makes it hard to justify staying legit. To me, the reason here is that there are so many great things in place that would make Gen 9 really had no have reason to gen a Pokemon whatsoever. But then all of a sudden we got these systems that takes a lot of time. If it just were those 20 minutes for those 6 months, I don't believe that would have been a big issue. But all of a sudden we're looking at a bigger grind just to have legit months with the right moves and the right Terra type, which could, in worst case scenario, take up to two hours per month and that that is not possible that is beyond it's never been that bad and it's been bad <laughs> like it's been real bad so like i said there are a lot of things right but those things makes it hard to justify not getting a pokemon now i could easily say like i said i i think going for vdc tournaments you said should stay somewhat legit the way they found that they were cheating or getting pokemon was because now, in this generation onward, we have height and weight of the Mon. And they were the same, which is very, very unlikely that they could be or were. And also, they have the same type of OT. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, I think I think it's justified to call people out for genning. Uh, even if you aren't... Like for me, I, I don't mind people genning. I understand the process behind it and why you would consider it. But also get what people find is upsetting as, you know, some people put in the hours. And knowing that their their investment in those hours could easily be remedied by genning, it's either accepting that there are better ways to make a Pokemon and justifying that process, or you, you turn this about to the other way that they should put in the same amount of hours you do because you train this mons legit. So there is a it's a value question and I don't believe they see eye to eye here because the other one valued their process, their elitist of making that mon, while the others just want to play the game, don't find a process in itself that exciting or redeemable or you get the idea here. So for me, I think Jenning is a must tool 
for certain Pokemon. For example, the Paradox Pokemon, you 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 won't catch a perfect Paradox Pokemon and try to get that right Terra type. That's not happening. And um, basically, those mods I get, the legendaries I get, and hard to get moves I get. Um, if you're able to find a raid with the perfect Terra type, yeah, that's a two hour skip on your EV training. But that is as far as it goes, and I find this very, very annoying. And I, like I said, I understand why people are genin. So that said, I want to know what do you guys think about genin. Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's bad? Why do you think people should or shouldn't gen? I'd love to hear any response and any reason for why and or why not. So that's it, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Have a great day and take care.